I'm Luca. And I'm Karina. And I'm Lisa. And I am Sam. And this is my family, the Kyotos. Uh, we decided to leave Australia for a change of lifestyle to get out of the rat race, basically give our kids a chance to explore the world. We decided on Marple Tours, first of all, because of its price. It needed to have the characteristics of a simple life, you know, a veggie patch, for us to grow food, stables where we could keep animals, uh, a small community. You know, there's a community here that's been here for generations, which is great. You know, it feels like we've stepped back in time. People here still do the things like they did 100 years ago, you know, superstition. Uh, everyone has a different method of an opinion of how to get something done. It's quite amazing. Hi guys, I love my And then occasionally, occasionally we come across what we used to call here in Piamontese is the abominable snowman. And there she is. Wild shopping. Picking sticks for our fire. Wild. She collects, she collects, she piles them up into the bag. And Ooh. from this, we create fire Yay. in this mist. Hi, why did we leave our wonderful beachside place in Australia? You might ask yourself. Because we like to go back in time. This is our village, over 400 years old, and still here. Amazing. Okay, so here's the dilemma. The dilemma? Yes, darling. That my toilet pipe happens to line up exactly, exactly, not one millimetre less, for the bloody hole that was already there 200 years ago. Now I don't know. Why is that a problem? Not a problem. Just money. Money fixes everything. Money and a bit of muscles that I have in my There's the hole in the question. And there's the pipes. And there's, there's my son. Ciao. Ciao. There's the pipes. So the this is where they go? It's not meant to come Here into comes here. some cows. Well, the uh, looking at our backgrounds, you know, Lisa and I couldn't have had a more different uh, type, of life, type of life, you know, I mean, I grew up in a traditional Italian family, you know, making our own salami, and, um, you know, had grandmothers living with me until the day they died, you know, whereas uh, Lisa's, you know, she was out travelling around the world at 20, you know, we never heard of anything like that in our family. So, you know, completely different. Um, then we met together, we did photography, um, and we met in photography, and we got together, and bingo, you know. Um, we just started renovating properties in Australia. We did 11, we've done 11 so far, you know. Hopefully this will be the last one here at Mile Pup Two. So I'm getting a bit tired now, but um, yeah, apart from that, yeah, we love what we do and we love the area and Mile Pup Two is just the gold mine for us. And, you know, spend more time with our family in the garden. Things that we'd never really do in Australia, too busy working all the time. The greatest sacrifices we've made moving from Australia to Italy would be leaving our families behind. Uh, both of us have parents that are ageing. My mum's uh, just turned 80 and lives by herself. So I think the greatest gift she gave to me as her daughter was saying, just go and live your life in Italy and uh, I'll love you no matter where you are. So I hope one day to be able to do that for my own children.